want to remove a background from a photo, but you don't have any of that fancy photo editing software, but you've got your trusty old Mac by your side. Hi, I'm Lori from LoriThayer.com, and I'm going to show you how you can remove a background using Keynote, an application on your Mac. So sir, first of all, we're just going to open up Keynote. Give that a second to load here. I'm just going to say new document. We'll go white. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You just want to open it up. We're going to delete this stuff because we don't need it. And then you're just going to add a photo to the slide. And I have one right down here. I'm going to drag in. This is a photo of myself. Um, and I was already doing this and I thought, I should show you guys how to do this. So that's what we're doing. Now, it knows you've just put a photo in, so it's giving you kind of the photo information over to the right here. So just click image, and then you want to choose this instant alpha. And actually what you do is you just start selecting. Now you can see, now if I select too much, it is going to take out, you know, some of my hair it's picking in. So i got to be careful. So I'll bring it back down so it doesn't get stuff I don't want in it. And then I'll pick some more. And you just, you keep doing this all around your photo to get what you want. So, it won't necessarily be as professional as fancy photo editing software, but it can be pretty good in a pretty quick amount of time, and there's no need, you know, to pay somebody to do this for you. You can certainly still do that if you choose. <laughs> we'll see how long it takes me here to get this. So if there's a lot of different colors in your photos where you can see there is in this background, it can take a little while. Because um, if you kind of get too much at once, then you're just, you'll get more color than you want. So you can see that was starting to take out my shirt, and I didn't want that. So then you got to rain it back down a little bit. And, then, and it's kind of a process of finding the right colors that are kind of going to give you the biggest bang for your and removing color without getting into the image you want to keep. So that one didn't do well for me. <laughs> you know, and if you want, you can click and as you get down to the finer points, you know, make the um, picture bigger. You can certainly make the picture bigger. You could make it smaller to begin with, but then it's it might be easy to take out extra that you want. And especially, I find myself using this most often when I'm trying to cut out the background from like a photo of myself or something that I want to use somewhere. Um, and hair can definitely be, oops, we're just gonna control Z so I get that back. <laughs> So hair can be a little tricky. Um, sometimes you know you just you have to do and redo and control Z, um, which is undo is going to be your friend if you accidentally take out too much. And you can definitely you know control Z a number of times. It has a history of memory, but you know make sure. I mean you're dragging this photo in from somewhere else, so you already have a the photo, you're not going to lose the photo, so if you have to start over, you can start over, but you know, if you want to make sure you're not, you can save as you go, um, and that way you, you just don't have to worry about starting over too much. So like I said, lots of little different colors in here, so it takes a while. And once you, you think you have it, um, it's good to kind of, you know, take it and move it into another application. And then sometimes you can kind of see if there's a bunch of missing background that you missed. And that's easy to have happen, so don't worry about it. But again, it's going to be a lot, um, a lot cheaper than paying somebody. You're buying fancy software. And it's really pretty easy. It can, you know, like I said, depending on the, the picture, it can be a little time-consuming. But I'm sure five minutes, ten minutes at the top, so I'll be done with this. But these little pieces in here, as you can see, that's where it's kind of a... It can take a little bit longer. 
And it lets you try and zoom in nicely, which is helpful. Um, and I'm sure somebody has an even better trick for all this stuff out here. Because the stuff that's not close to me, you know, isn't really such a problem. You know, I actually probably should have cropped this photo first because I don't really need all this stuff up here. And I could crop it closer to me. Um, I am not sure that I can do that within... within this application though. So bottom to fine. It's really just these little pieces left out here. But we'll get them. Let's get this car back there and peek it in. And you can see it's definitely picking up the lighter shades, especially the gray in my hair. <laughs> Delicate, delicate process. But as you can see, we're almost done. So this is the process you'll want to use. So why don't you give it a shot? Let me know how it works for you. Um, you can do a lot of stuff that you wouldn't really expect in, in Keynote. I've even used it to make um, headers for my website before. So maybe we'll go over that another time. But this is how you can easily remove a background from Keynote. You can see, you see I'm not quite done. i got a little bit more to do. But it's mostly all gone here. And you can see, um, yeah. So you can see the outline of it when you're clicked in here, when you're editing with Screen Alpha. But when you click out of that, it's all gone. And then it's just those all those little bits that I still got to get. So give it a try. Report back. Let me know how it goes.